morning. So, um, I posted on my YouTube channel a couple of days ago about asking questions. It had to deal with my car dealership, but, uh, I do ask questions and other things and I do express myself. When I was a child, I was told that I'm not allowed to express myself as an adult. I can't ask a question. I just do what the adult says to do. But now I'm grown and now I pay my bills. So if I have a question, then I'm going to ask. Now, the way I asked, the way I made the remark, yeah, it wasn't professional. And those who see me, those who are on my YouTube channel, they know I always say be professional. But I have a problem with taking a course for a job with my background, the way I was raised, that course felt a little biased. I accepted a higher position. I moved to another school and I was told I had to take the course over again because I am in this school. But when I look at my job transcript, the old course is there. Why was my question? I already took this course. I was told, you're in a new school, you have to take the course. So, I take the course. And of course, the higher powers didn't like my answers. So I got an email back. And they got, we as soon as you're very upset, we want to know what's going on. I told them. And they was like, well, if you took the course already at the other school, with the lower skill that you had, if anybody knows I was a tutor, teacher assistant, and now I'm a teacher, um, you didn't have to take the course over. Yeah, well, guess what? I was told I had to take the course over. And I see a couple of changes, and no, I don't like it. So, I woke up this morning to seven emails. I answered one. And then I realized, I am still on Christmas vacation. I haven't even done my lesson plans. Somebody else said they was going to do the lesson plans, and then I got an email saying that, that their child was sick, so the lesson plan wasn't done. So I still got to do my lesson plans for January. I'm on my Christmas vacation, the last couple of days of my vacation. So I'm not answering those emails. I'm not doing that work. Why are we losing teachers? Because you feel that our vacation, where we're supposed to be getting our mind, body, and spirit giving it a break and getting it ready to go back to work in the new year that we're supposed to be doing work. We're not supposed to be spending time with our family. We're not supposed to be catching up on those doctor's appointments that we should have did, but we couldn't take a day off because you're going to charge us for taking a day off. Did I say that fast enough? Let me say it slower. We're catching up on those doctor's appointments that we couldn't take off because you're going to charge us for a substitute that you may not be able to get So we can catch up on those doctor's appointments. I don't know if this is the profession for me anymore. I spoke to a couple of people in the state capitol, in the education department. They gave me a couple of ideas because they looked at my resume. They looked at, they went into the system and it was like, oh, this woman ain't lying. She has this. She has this. She has this. She's got it from this school. She got it from this school. She got a 4.0. She got this. All I want to do is teach. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I want to do. All this paperwork, all this crap, all these other things. Okay, yeah, I need six credits every year. That's fine, but it should be something that's pertaining to me and what I do in the classroom, not what you expect. Something that's going to help me help the kids. Okay, I ranted. Hopefully, it'll give somebody else an understanding. Don't be afraid to ask. Because you being quiet is hurting your mind, your body, your spirit. And like I said, I didn't do it professionally, but don't be afraid to ask. I got a couple of ways to move on. I got to start saving. I got to start scrimping. I got to do what I got to do. Run the other business. Step it up the game. But, yeah, I understand why teachers are leaving the profession. I really do.